What's up guys, Bryce here with Southern California Painter. Right now I'm going to show you how to patch uh, slash float this stucco wall. So the way that we're going to achieve that really is that we need to float this all flat first before matching the texture which is going to be this uh, dash finish that you can call it. Uh, it's basically imitating what the uh, interior you know, knockdown would be using drywall mud and things like that. So. Uh, I'm going to basically run you through the whole process. That's going to be from mixing the stucco here, showing you the consistency uh, that we want. I will show you some of the tools that we're going to use and show you how to kind of do the whole process from start to finish, from floating and then adding the texture. Uh, so right now we're just going to dive into mixing the stucco and just get the process rocking for you guys. All right, guys. So right now we're going to mix our stucco. Okay. And you don't necessarily want to fill this whole thing up. Uh, you know, you want to stay mixing throughout so that this doesn't dry out and just everything kind of stays consistent. The, the product that we're using just for this, just because I needed to dry fairly fast so that I could paint it today, we're using this uh, Rapid Set Stucco Mix. You can basically get this at Home Depot, I would assume, you know, Lowe's, whatever, any, any general hardware store. So I'm going to get some water going, we'll mix this up, show you what the consistency uh, looks like, and then we'll go from there. So remember that more is less in this situation because you can always add more water. You do not want it to be uh, soupy at all. Uh, the goal is definitely to try to not have to add more stucco mix into it to dry out the water, but that you can always add water into it. All right, guys, so this is about the consistency that we want. If you can see it, it's pretty soupy, it runs, but it's not watery. You don't really see water, it's not a puddle of water, and this is kind of basically what we want to achieve here when we go to float the wall. Now we're gonna float this wall. Uh, this will definitely come in handy. We'll scoop some out, use this to trowel it onto the wall. We have our sponge float, which we need in a separate, separate bucket of water. Uh, we'll use that after floating it to basically uh, float it out even smoother. So right now, you see, you just Dig your trowel in it just like that. Dig your trowel in, get some mud on it. Now when you're doing this, you really want to go up, up the wall. You don't want to come down the wall. When you come down the wall, you're really just going to knock off half the stuff that you put on. It doesn't really smooth out and float that way. So, you know, one, one good way, you can always put this up against the wall like so, and you can basically push this up and out against the wall. You see how this now is all basically kind of stuck on there? You can move this over, some might fall off. You float this, you come back, you can always go next to it like this. And you know, just, you know, you wanna get this on there. Once this is on there like so, and we basically are done with this wall, we're gonna come back with the sponge float and that's going to basically float it out. Imagine this to be what sanding would be almost for the interior drywall. This is gonna help us make this flatter and smoother with the rest of the areas that are still remaining. We'll show you a little bit more here. We'll continue on, do some of the wall. Once we're kind of done and things are dried out, we'll go backwards and we'll show you how to do the dash texture and how to knock that down. All right, guys, right now, we're still just gonna finish some of this floating. What I'm gonna do is just float a little area for you guys, just for the video's sake. And then we'll show you how to do the dash finish just so I can keep moving and, and keep everything going before I get dried out here and that way I can kind of finish and paint but you'll get the exact idea of how the whole rest of this wall is going to go. Right, guys so we're just about done uh, floating basically this area we have some more here but again for time and video sake we're just going to float this section and we are going to show you now how to float it uh, you know float it with the sponge uh, so that after we float it flat with the sponge we can then apply our texture so if you notice some of it you know, you got little bits of variations and things in it. Not too big of a deal. One, because of the texture. Two, because we're going to now float it smooth with this sponge right here. So you always want to keep your sponge wet. You know, we'll start over here on this side where 
it's a little bit drier. So keep your sponge wet. Basically, again, as I mentioned, this is kind of acting almost as what sanding on the interior uh, drywall would be. When you go to patch drywall and do things like that, this is going to float smooth your edges, you know, things like that. Again, just keep it wet. Keep it wet, keep it wet. Basically, you know, try to try to float out some of these little ridges and things like that that you had in there. Yes, we'll have to let it dry out, of course, a little bit here. But what we're gonna do is actually apply the uh, texture finish while this is slightly uh, wet, but hard enough that it's not gonna indent when we go to trowel and knock it down. And the reason that we're doing that is this has that suction and adhesion while it's wet and it's drying. All right guys, so right now we're gonna apply the dash knockdown finish. We have this little, basically a broom, if you will. You're gonna dunk this into the mud. You know, dunk it into the mud once you achieve the uh, consistency and things that you want. And basically we're just gonna throw it at the wall essentially is what the goal is. So you don't want to go like this or like this. You really want to have this thing turn sideways basically like this and just kind of just kind of flick it at it, you know. So this wall right here and the texture that this wall has has a lot of tiny little pieces. Few big few big pieces, lots of tiny pieces. So I don't know if you can you can see too well. I know it's wet on wet, but I'm sure you can see from what that smooth finish was, quite a bit of these clumps. So we're pretty much done with what we wanted to do. Lots of little pieces, just like this. Lots of little pieces, few big pieces. The, the more you clump up, the heavier it is, the bigger the piece when you go to knock it down and drag it. So what we're gonna do right now is basically knock it down. I like to go in different directions so that the pattern is kind of different. You know, people, every time somebody does a texture, it's always gonna be different. Each hand that touches the texture has a different way of doing it, a different style. So, you know, I'll take it from right to left. I'll just come up here, just drag it up, or maybe you come back from here and go the opposite direction. You know, it's not, it's not anything too complicated. It's something that you can do on your own. It's something that you can practice easily either on you know one wall that's bad just practice practice if you don't like it uh take it and you know knock it all off basically all this is all this isn't wet you could basically knock all this off again if you wanted to and try to uh do it again change up the texture change up the style whatever all right guys so that's it for us this is Southern California Painter signing off. This is just the basics of how you can float a stucco wall, do that dash, knock down texture, and finish it. We did a start to finish. Uh, we're going to be bringing you guys a lot more videos coming up on basically everything that has to do with paint, interior, exterior, sanding, what type of tapes to use, what all the different putties inside are, spackle, painter's putty, uh, just the whole nine. So we want you guys to be as educated as we are so when you have us come into the home, when we're uh, talking to you about the process of things that we're doing, you also have a better understanding of what's going on. And this can also be used for the contractor who really just wants to know how to do this so that you can add more to your palette of things that you can do so you can inevitably make more money and basically widen your array of services. So this is Bryce signing off. I got Eric over there on the camera and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.